Uh, so when it comes to IP addressing, uh, converting from uh, decimal to binary or binary to decimal is just uh, opposite directions of the same thing. So if we, uh, this, uh, this right here, what I have here represents one octet. Uh, so, uh, uh, four octets here. And each octet is represented by, uh, four bits. Or eight bits. And the reason why it's called an octet is because it's eight bits. All right, so if we had something along the lines of, uh, okay, so I'm going to use uh, 192. Uh, 192 is the starting IP of a lot of examples, so that's why I'm using a lot of that. Um, now if we wanted to go from, uh, decimal to, uh, from decimal to, uh, binary, uh, that is simply a matter of, uh, going, okay, so, uh, in each octet, we have, uh, on the far left, 2 to the 7th, and on the far right, we have 2 to the 0. And then it's a sequential thing uh, from 7 to 0. Uh, but uh, these uh, uh, these numbers here are basically uh, what you would get when you would, uh, when you count, put 2 to the 7 into the calculator, you get 128. Same with 64 and 32 and 16 and 8. You, you compute 2 to the power of whatever it is, and out comes the number in the second row. <clears throat> and so basically, uh, whenever you want to convert from decimal to binary, uh, you start with the 2 to the 7 position of that particular octet, and then and ask yourself, is the decimal version of that octet greater than or equal to the answer of 2 to the power of that first number. So is 192 greater than or equal to 128? If yes, then you put a 1 here. Uh, so you put a 1 here. And then, uh, and then you, as a result, you would subtract, uh, 128 from the original number because you are you've already consumed that 128 and that's going to be uh my brain is being weird right now and then you do minus 128 and that's going to be uh 64 uh, and that's going to be equal to 64 and so, the next thing you need to ask is, um, is the result of that subtraction uh, greater than or equal to the next number in the list? So, uh, is 64 greater than or equal to this 64? Uh, so, it does equal. Uh, so, the two are equal. So, yes, it is greater than or equal to. Uh, and this is one of those things where I do ha feel the need to emphasize that this is com this is a computer level of technicality. Um, pretty much anything math or statistics is, you need to assume computer levels of technicality and literalism. And so now that we've uh, done that, uh, we subtract from the 64 we have here uh, to get uh, 0. And so since 0 is not greater than or equal to any of the rest, um, we can just put zeros for the rest of the digits. And that, uh, and that would be what I have in that third row in that matrix is, uh, the decimal representation of 192. Um, now if we, uh, 
do that again with uh, 168. Or I have 172. Uh, I have 176. So is 176 greater than 128? Yes. So I'm putting a 1 here. And then subtract from 176 the initial 128. And 176 minus 128. And that's going to be 48. Uh, now, is 148 less than or equal to uh, 64? It's not, so 0 goes there. And uh, technically, we subtract a 0 from that to get to a 48. Uh, and then is it greater than 32? Yes, so I'm going to put a 1 here and subtract from that 48, uh, the 32. And that's going to be 16. And then repeat. And then we have... Okay, so twenty eight, sixty three, twelve, so in sixty, so we have the one twenty four and uh one sixty eight uh one twenty eight and then sixty four is also gonna be zero, but thirty two is going to be one because sixty is greater than thirty two. So 16 minus 32 is 28, which is greater than 16. 28 minus 16 uh, is going to be uh, 12, and so 12 is bigger than eight. Uh, is bigger than eight, so it goes here. 12 minus eight is four, which is greater than or equal to four, which means this goes there. Four minus four is zero, so the rest are zero. Uh, and the reason you would want to do this is because, you know, the computers read in des in uh, binary. Oh, and we read in decimal. All right, so if you want to uh, do binary, uh, binary to uh, decimal, uh, you would have to go in uh, the opposite direction. <laughs> 